Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. Dear black women, you keep telling people to go out and vote for Kamala Harris. And one of my biggest problem, and I'm pretty sure a lot of the men out there, this is their biggest problem with you, is that you are not stating any of Kamala Harris's policies. And it's real sad and unfortunate that a lot of you women only want to vote for Kamala Harris because you want to unalive the future black kings and queens out of your womb. You want to vote for Kamala Harris because you think she's black and she's fighting for women's reproductive rights when you women already have reproductive rights. But the base, the basis of you voting for Kamala Harris is to is to um, um, protect your reproductive rights so that you can unalive babies out your womb. Now, before I get into this video, I also want to state one more thing to the black women out there, okay? Don't come online with blonde lace fronts, hazel contacts in your eyes, and tell me anything about being black. I really wish you women would stop doing that. You're pretending to be something that you aren't, but you want to sit up here all the time, get online, and talk about being black. The, the 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 irony with you women is unmatched. I state this all the time. I state this all the freaking time. Let's get into the damn video. Do not vote for this man. Do not vote him in office. I'm telling you now. We don't already experience him, Donald Trump. That is. So we already know, and y'all already know. We already know what he didn't do for us before. Why would y'all vote him in office another term? My God. Okay. What did Joe Biden do for us? I'm, 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 I'm going to put you women to the test right now. Here's your chance to explain to your boy MABW. What did Joe Biden and Kamala Harris do for us in four years? I'll wait. Because no matter what you want to say, Kamala Harris was Joe Biden's VP. She didn't protect the border as the borders are. She could have definitely told Biden about some of the things she would have she would have liked to have had done because she was VP. Why do you women actually feel that she's going to actually come in as a new president, a new sitting president and change anything? If nothing changed in four years while she was VP, nothing is going to change now. Now, with Donald Trump, you sit up here and say, what did he do for us? I'll tell you what he did for us. The borders were protected. He kept jobs in America. Inflation wasn't. And I mean, inflation was not at an all time high. There were no wars going on. And as far as reproductive rights go, Donald Trump was handing that over to the states. But for some reason, you women want to keep on blaming Donald Trump, trying to make it seem as if he's taking away your reproductive rights when he isn't doing nothing like that at all. You women, some of you black women out there, you keep using this whole reproductive rights thing as a scapegoat. You keep using this whole Kamala Harris is a black lady as a scapegoat. Black men, especially us, we have left the Democratic plantation and we're not going back. Even if we don't vote for Trump, we're not going back to the Democratic the Democratic plantation. We're not following a woman's footsteps when it comes to keeping money in our pockets. We're just not doing it. I'm so tired of you women sitting up here talking about what Trump didn't do. He did a lot. You women, some of you, you just refuse to do research. That's the main problem. And let's just say hypothetically, okay, because you always like to spit this out, some of you black women out there. Let's just say hypothetically that Trump is racist. Well, Biden is racist too. But let me tell you something that your boy MABW figured out. I would rather have the racist in office that's keeping the economy good, keeping jobs in America, keeping uh, prices down for rent, food, gas. I would have the I would rather have the racist in office that's running the economy better than the racist in office that's not running the economy that good at all. That's the racist I would rather have. You women crack me the hell up with this whole thing. Vote Kamala Harris because she's black, but you don't come online. Not none of you women have come online talk to, talking about her policies. All you women have done thus far is talk about reproductive rights. That's it. And that shows us right there that Kamala Harris in general, not even just black men, that just shows you right there that Kamala Harris has nothing that she can do to help men out. 
because all she wants to do is get the black women's support and you black women fall for it every single time. She's still going to dangle that carrot in front of you talking about what she's going to give you. Then she, soon as she becomes a sitting president, if she does become that, she's going to not all the things that she promised you will not happen. Like what, what haven't you black women learned yet? They say this stuff every four years, all the time, what they're going to do for you. And then they don't do that for you. And then you have regrets. There's so many black women that have come online talking about the regrets they have had because they voted because they voted for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Straight laws want to come out here with a blonde wig with a hazel contact in your eyes talking about vote for Kamala Harris. Don't vote for Trump. Like, cut it out. Not today. Now, this man has already let us know all type of ways that he do not like us and he is not for us. What do y'all not understand? Y'all really believe this man going to make the world a better place? Y'all are kidding y'all. And on top of that, y'all done try to assassinate this man and y'all think he going to let that ride? Child, you are Who is y'all? Who is y'all? Who, who tried to assassinate? Who? Democrats? Is that what you're saying? Democrat Democrats tried to unalive Biden? I mean, excuse me, Trump? What do you mean y'all already tried to unalive Trump? Who? From what I remember, it was a young white boy that tried to unalive Trump. What does that have to do with voting for Kamala Harris? I'll wait. Did black people try to unalive Trump? I'll wait. You saying y'all, right? Did black people try to unalive Trump? So that's why he's not going to do anything for the black community. I'll wait. And this is what MABW talks about all the time. You women, especially some of you black women, you like to get online and talk about absolutely nothing. You don't even know what you're talking about. Y'all already tried to come out here and unalive him. Who? Who was y'all? I didn't try to do nothing. It wasn't a black person that tried to unalive Trump during that attempt. Who was y'all? Ah, wait, explain that. Explain that. And explain what Trump says about black people that he talks about us so much that it's degrading. I will wait. I will wait. You sit up here. See, this is the problem with black people. Some of them, not all of them. OK, black people sit up here and talk about I'm a black owned business. Do it for black people. Do this. But as soon as Trump says something about taking away black jobs, y'all get offended about it. Do I need to repeat that again? Black people love spewing out the whole rhetoric about black owned businesses. Support me because I'm a black owned business, black owned this, black owned that. But if Trump comes in and say that the migrants, the illegal migrants are going to take away black owned jobs, you get offended by it. That makes no sense to me at all. You get offended by and offended by it. If when, when, you know what's funny? When certain people come infiltrate communities and gentrify them, black people feel offended by that. Y'all can stop me whenever y'all want to and say that I'm lying. When certain, like if, if Arabs come in and buy up all the stores, uh, Asians come in, build up all the, build up, build up in your community, put hair stores there, liquor stores there, bodegas there, you're mad about it. Because you're, you feel like the black people, you feel like they're taking over the community. Isn't that taking away black owned resources that you could have for yourself if you would like to build up in your own community? Isn't it? Black jobs. But no, no, no. If Trump says something about black jobs, that's racist. If Trump says something about even someone coming to infiltrate your community, that's racist. But deep down, y'all know he's not lying. It's true. Me, I feel no way about it. I believe in capitalism. If you work hard to get to where you're at and you want to charge people whatever ridiculous amount of money you want to charge them to get services from you, so be it. So be it. I'm a capitalist. I'm here to make money, not lose money. I, I, I built myself to where I'm at from the ground up. I have a pressure washing business. I started a YouTube channel almost uh, just about three years. I'm on my third year on YouTube. And it's, it's, a, it's a pretty lucrative business. I like doing what I do. Men, we sit up here and we work hard from the ground up. And success doesn't come overnight. It could take one to three years, four years, five years, but it doesn't come overnight. Most of you women, you only want a handout. And that's why you feel some type of way about Trump. Because he doesn't want to relieve student loan debt. 
because you were the one that chose to go to a $200,000 college and get a degree that's worth nothing. I keep telling you women, take your stupid degrees and go like that and throw it away. That's what you need to do with your dumb degree because it's worthless. Fooling yourself. My gods, do hey. not vote him in. Child, I'm telling you, he get in that office, he gonna tell us all where to go. He gonna help us try to get there. I think he gonna let that ride. We done trying to assassinate this man. <laughs> Baby, he gonna give it to I. And we didn't already experience him like I said, but if I vote for anybody, I'd rather vote for the other half. Because we ain't experienced her yet. So at least give her a chance to show herself and find out what she can do. My God, y'all trying to count the lady up before y'all even count her in. What's going on in the world today? I tell you what, you get him back in that office and all of us gonna be on our knees praying to baby Jesus and Hail Mary and all angels above. How you doing? That's Dear black women, stay offline. Not all black women, but some black women that act like her. Stay offline. You, act, you you don't know what you're talking about. You keep coming online talking about nothing and you won't give any facts. You won't give any type of facts at all. And you won't state the real reason why we should vote for Kamala Harris. I'd rather just give her a chance to give him a chance. You're going to give her that chance and the next four years is going to be real bad for you. It's going to be real bad for you. I'm done with y'all. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.